So the first bill that I'll be signing is SB 266. Um, and what this does is reorient our universities uh, back to their traditional mission. And part of that traditional mission is to treat people as individuals, not to try to divvy them up based on any type of superficial characteristics. Um, we're gonna elevate merit and achievement uh, above identification with certain groups. And in order to do that, uh, we had to uh, look at this new concept, relatively new concept, called diversity, equity, and inclusion. And um, I didn't know much, I mean, this is something relatively recent. I mean, Chris Ruvo can talk about when this really started to percolate. I think it, it had probably been there a few years ago, but then kind of the post-BLM uh, rioting and the George Floyd summer of 2020, I think you saw it really take off. And on its face, I mean, I see, when I see diversity, I think like, you know, di different viewpoints have a robust academic discussion in the university. Isn't that what they're for? In reality, what this concept of DEI has been is to attempt to impose orthodoxy uh, on the university, and not even necessarily in the classroom, but through the administrative apparatus of the university itself, and that manifests itself in a number of different ways. Uh, but this has basically been used as a veneer to impose an ideological agenda, uh, and that is wrong. And in fact, if you look at the way this has actually been implemented across the country, uh, DEI is, is better um, viewed as standing for discrimination, exclusion, and indoctrination, and that has no place in our public institutions.